Hey guys, Harry here. We are doing, as you can see from the equipment, my first all grain batch of beer. So we've got the strike water. Is it called the strike water? I think so. We've got a hops way now. Two half ounce batches of Tet Nine, half an ounce of Strian Goldings. The rest can put called for pearl hops, but I have Strian Goldings. And if you want me to do, make two separate op editions, then boom, I've got two different ones. And here's my recipe. It is uh, Pilsner type ale, as is customary when brewing a beer. I'm also drinking one myself, but this is actually a cider from a kit, so it's not a beer, but it is a beer, it's a cider, it's an apple beer, apple wine, cider, well, whatever. So yeah, we'll let this heat up, let's have a quick check where we are now. The old multimeter gives me an instant read on the temperature with this little probe that comes with it, 85 degrees C. Now I'm looking to hit 152 with the mash temperature, so that's about ready. So I'm going to go ahead and put the water into the mash tun and uh, we'll dough in. Three gallons of boiling water, well, 85 degree water. How do you pick this up? without burning yourself to death. That's hot. But we're in. So, we have a long handled spoon. If I do it this way, I think you'll be able to get a better view of what's going on. Right then, look at that on the shoulder, it works. Now I've seen a lot of people take quite a long time and putting their, their grains in and I've seen some people just sling them in. So I'm hoping that with a good enough uh, mix I'll be able to avoid putting any dough balls in there or making dough balls and get it in as quick as possible. I mean, we do want to get the lid on so we don't lose too much of the temperature of this uh, this, this strike water. Wow, did you see that? Now they've got green on the ceiling. Is that a dough ball there? Look. Smash that little devil to bits. There's another one. Well, it's a fairly even consistency actually. Looks quite good. I'm going to just take a read in just to make sure we're not too much over temp. Right, I'm saying 72. 75 so that's a little bit higher than I wanted 75 yeah I'm looking for more around 70 so I'm just gonna add some cold water just to bring the temperature down a touch because we don't want to don't want to ruin it if we're still up in the 
Well, that's. <laughs> Can you see that? What does it say over here? 71, 68, 69, 67, 68. I'm going to run with that because I didn't warm the cool box up anyway, the mash tun up. So probably that little bit of excess heat will just help to heat the cool box up a bit. Right, so we'll get the lid on and we'll come back and check the temperature in half an hour. Put my probe in because I can. Right, I'll see you shortly. I'm just going to have a kip. Mm.